problem with resolutions when, they're, when they are for the whole year is that they're kind of big. Um, and so what would happen to me would be that by day two, I'd already sort of missed a couple of resolutions that I'd set for myself. Um, by week two, I was feeling like a complete failure. You know, I'd, I'd set these big lofty goals for myself that every day I would do this or every week I would do this. And within a very short period of time, um, it, it wasn't happening. Okay, so uh, you know, within two days I was stressed, and within a week I was a complete failure when it came to New Year's resolutions. So I made a new New Year's resolution, and that was not to make any more New Year's resolutions. Uh, and I have kept that one. That's probably the only one that I've kept. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I what I try and do instead, and perhaps something for you to think about, is rather than have you know, it's, it's fine to have a goal for the year. I understand that. That's that's perfectly fine. But what I find works more effectively for me uh, is to have a big picture view of the year and then break that down into sort of really small, achievable, short-term targets that give me a sense of progress and give me a sense of achievement. You know, if you if you start the year wanting to create the perfect beach body, okay, uh, that's not a bad goal to have for the year. But that in itself is not going to get you there. So then you have to think about, well, how do I break that down to really useful stuff? How do I, how do I change my dietary habits from today, you know, from this week? What can I do? And, you know, if you hear my tummy rumbling, by the way, I'm, I'm on a, a no-carb or low-carb diet at the moment with one of my team members uh, at work. And uh, yeah, so that's no pasta, no potatoes, no rice, and no bread. Um, now, I'm, I'm of Italian background, so that's pretty much 90% of my, of, my, of my diet, right? So one of two things are gonna happen. I'm either gonna feel better shortly or I'm gonna starve to death, I'm not sure which, right? So, you know, but it's, it's not a case of trying to do that for the whole year. This is a short-term thing, 28 days. Uh, it's designed to really get you to be thinking about the habits that you have. And no matter what goals you're setting for the year, that process is really useful. So. You know, what are the things you do on a day-to-day -day basis that will lead you towards your goals, you know? Um, so I like to think of it from the point of view of this is my big goal, and today I will do this little piece of it, and this week I'll do this bit, and this week I'll do this bit. And as you start to tick those off, you get a sense of progress and a sense of achievement, um, and before you know it, you're well on your way to achieving your, your annual goals, right? your, big, your bigger goals.